Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back to the next lecture. What uh, we have derived uh, in the last lecture, the, the conservation law or continuity equation. So let me write it again. We have derived the continuity equation which is del by del t of rho plus del by del x of rho u is equal to 0. So here rho is a function of t and x and u is a function of t and x. So this but we need some initial condition to solve this equation, but now at the moment I don't, uh, I will present the initial condition later. So the first remark, so what do we see that? So we have only one equation, one scalar equation, but two are known, rho and u. So we have two unknowns rho and u only one equation so it means uh, we cannot solve you from the school mathematics yourselves you are aware of that we need to have number of equation is equal to number of unknown so here we have two unknowns and one equation we cannot solve. But if, if u is known a priori, then we can solve it. Or if u is a function of rho, so what we will have? Then hold rho of u is also function of rho only. So we can write any arbitrary function f which is a function of rho. So in this case, uh, this equation let me write this equation as uh, now this is our third lecture 3.1 now equation 3.1 can be written as so let me write here or i can i still have place del rho by del t plus del y del x of f of rho is equal to 0. So let me denote it as equation 3.2. So now what we see that now this is the, the, the scalar equation. So equation 3.2 is a scalar equation for rho only. So here in this case again now we have so this is called closer relation yeah so we close the equation so this is if rho is a function of u is a function of rho so this is sometimes a closer relation 
and then this closure relation helps us that we have one equation and one unknown. So in this case also we can solve the equation. So the second remark, the second remark is that uh, so in general, so this is the equation, the continuity equation, or this is conservation of mass. Equation 3.1 is normally solved together with the conservation of, of momentum where we get the velocity and energy. So if the flow is in VC, so we get system of oil equation so if the system if the if the the flow is viscous we get Navier-Stokes equations. So then here also we need some type of closer relation because we may have also more unknown than the equation. So that closer relation in the case of Euler equation, we get the pressure law. Pressure is a function of temperature and density, and here also in the Navier-Stokes equation also we need the closure relation, which is also the pressure law, as well as uh, ideal gas law. As well as we need some the viscosity coefficient or heat conductivity. So that I will not discuss uh, in this uh, lecture. So maybe in future we can discuss or you can look any fluid dynamic equation, those equation. So now let us write some examples. So what are the examples of, there are several examples where we can apply in the real field. Let us discuss about the examples. So this is our master equation anyway. So what are the examples, for example? So for example, example one, the example one is, uh, so it is uh, a linear so linear adversion equation. So if the velocity u is a constant, yeah? So if it is a constant, then we, we can write it on the outside the, the differential operator. So if u is a constant, say equal to a, then from Equation 3.1, we get, so A we can take it out, del rho by del T plus A del rho by del X is equal to zero. Because I am giving the example, some of this uh, conservation scalar equation, so that in future, in the coming lecture, I will present, uh, the numerical scheme based on all this example. Therefore, I am going a little bit slowly in order to give you the basic idea. 
So this is, let me write equation 3.3. So example 2, what we get? Example 2. So you might be knowing that there is also linear advection diffusion equation. So what does it mean? So if we have two media or if you have to flow and then the mixing happen due to advection or convection and the diffusion. Therefore, we will have this flux is the combination of advective flux and the diffusive flux. Yeah. So, for mixing of two media we have advective diffusive fluxes so in that case what we get so let me keep it like here until now. So this flux this is nothing, this is a flux function. So f of rho is advective flux plus diffusive flux. But the diffusive flux. is given by Hicks law. Yeah, which is nothing else. This is minus D of del rho by del x. So in this case, our f of rho, because I, I have mentioned is a linear advection, so it moves to the constant velocity. The velocity is given. So f of rho is a of rho. This is the advective flux minus d of del rho by del x. This is the diffusive flux. Now we plug this f of rho in equation 3.2. So from so this let me write 3.4, so from equation 3.3, 3.2 and 3.4 we have, so we will have a del rho by del t plus a, so this a of a is coming out. So it is del rho by del x, and then del by del x is a d is a constant. Suppose here d is a positive, and this is a constant. This is a positive constant. So then, if I put it here in the differential operator, d is outside. So it is d, and the second so del rho by del x of del by del x is del to rho by del x square. So since it is a minus, I put to the other side, which is a plus. So this is, I define as 3.5. So this equation 3.5 is nothing else. This is advective, advective diffusion equation. So this is the advective part or convective part. Some people call as a convective part. And this is the diffusive part. So this equation, equation 3.3, this is a hyperbolic equation, and this equation 3.5 is like a parabolic equation. So let me write the note, or maybe remark 3.
equation 3.3 is a hyperbolic hyperbolic equation and equation 3.5 is a parabolic equation So in normally in PDE we have three type of equation so we classify into three types so one is the hyperbolic so always the first order equation are the hyperbolic equation then the another one is the parabolic equation which is the combination of first order and the second order where you have some viscous term and then the another one is the elliptic equation which is basically the second order equation. So elliptic equation we may cover in the in the coming lecture. So now you see that with this flux function we can define different type of equation, which is the simply linear advective or convective equation or advection diffusion equation. So we can also derive different type of equation. And the example. Is a Burger equation. This equation is uh, very much used in order to verify the numerical scheme because this is a basically nonlinear equation and uh, it has lots of difficulty to solve numerically because you may have after a certain time even your initial value is very smooth. So after a certain time it somehow develop the discontinuity which is called the shock. So that we will see later in the numerical simulation or I will derive uh, some type of uh, analytical solution. So Burger equation, how do we get? If f of rho is equal to rho square by 2, then our equation del rho by del t plus here del by del x rho square by 2 is equal to 0. So this is what we call as a conservative ohm. So if we just apply the chain rule, then we can write del rho by del t plus so as a sec, the partial derivative we have to do. So they let us do the same rule del by del rho, rho square by 2 times del rho by del x is equal to 0, which is del rho by del 2 plus 2 times, so 2 to cancel, then we get 2 times rho. So 2 rho by 2 del rho by del x here dx by, so here dx by dx, this is 1. So what we get finally that del rho by del t plus, so this 2 to cancel rho del rho by del x is equal to 0. So this is called some primitive form, I define this equation as uh, 3.6 and this equation as 3.7. So this is called the Burger equation. So what you see that this is nonlinear because before the advective part it was a linear equation, here the rho was like a constant but here our velocity looks like a rho. So this is a nonlinear equation and many, many people use this type of equation to verify the benchmark of the numerical solution, to verify the numerical solution. So we come to the next, so the Burger equation. Now we come to the, which we see in our daily life, the traffic flow, so example four.
traffic law. So if we have in the remark one that if the f of rho is a function of rho only. So for example, if f of rho is equal to u max 1 minus rho by rho max. Yeah? So what does it mean? So let us draw the graph. So this is uh, rho, this is f of rho. Yeah? Then what we have that if rho is equal to 0, is rho is equal to 0, we have u max. Yeah? So u max and u max rho max are constants. For example, they are given constants. So if rho is 0, then we have the f of rho is the max u max. So if rho is equal to rho max somewhere, so if there is a maximum value of rho, so f of rho is 0, then what we get? We get a linear function. So what does it mean? For example, you have a road. On the road, if you reach the maximum density, so then maximum density means rho is equal to rho max. So what do we get? This is 1. 1 minus 1, 0, you get f of rho is 0. It means this is the jam. So you, the car cannot move. So this is called the jam. The rho max is the jam. Yeah? It, it, it creates you the jam. Because the, the velocity of the car is 0. But if there is no car, yeah? so rho is 0, then what do you get? you can get your maximum, the driver can drive with the maximum velocity what uh, he is allowed. Yeah? So this is called the traffic, the, this gives you the traffic flow. So let us uh, say what it means, if rho is equal to rho max, f of rho is equal to u max f of rho is equal to 0, then so we get traffic jam. Yeah? Rho is rho max gives the traffic jam. If rho is equal to 0, f of rho is equal to u max, so implies one can So no car ahead, can drive with and so the driver can drive with the maximum velocity. So our equation looks like, so we have del rho by del t plus del by del x of f of rho, since u max is constant, so we get u max del by del x of 1 minus rho by rho max is equal to 0. So this is the traffic flow equation. So let us very nicely simplify. If for the sake of simplicity, if 
u max is 1, rho max is 1, how it looks like? Del rho by del t plus, so is 1, del by del x. So here, oh sorry, we still have, we still have uh, f of rho, sorry, here. So this is not f of rho, we define the velocity is a function of density, yeah, sorry. So there was a small mistake. So if the velocity is a function of density, yeah, so because f of rho not rho, because we have the equation del rho by del t plus del by del x of rho u is zero. If u is a function of rho, and then we have this same graph, so here not f of rho, it is u of rho, and it is also u of rho, is a dense, uh, the, the velocity depending upon the density. And then, so here I will have rho as well. Del by del x of rho, yeah, two bracket. And then our traffic flow equation is del by del x of rho, one minus rho is equal to zero. So we can split that in different way. So it is nothing del by del t plus, so if you use the chain rule, and then rho del by del x of one minus rho plus one minus rho del rho by del x is zero. And then we can write in several form. So if you still write in the simplified form, so I can write again del rho by del t plus So rho del rho by del x, rho del rho by del x. So just open the, so this is the first component zero. So it is a minus, minus rho del rho by del x plus del rho by del x minus again rho del rho by del x is zero, then del rho by del x del t plus one minus two rho del rho by del x is equal to zero. So we supply some initial value. And now in the coming lecture, when I do the numerical simulation, so I will present, I will focus on this, for example. So I start with the linear advection equation, and then I, then I continue with the advection diffusion equation, then I come to the Burger equation, and uh, then I come further to the traffic flow equation. So again, one more remark, on Burger equation. We can have viscose form. It means del rho by del t plus rho del rho by del x is equal to epsilon del to rho by del x square. This looks like advection diffusion equation. But here we have nonlinear, so epsilon is a positive, a constant. So if epsilon tends to zero, this viscose form equation. The solution, yeah, the solution of this viscous form equation of this equation tends to 
solution of Burger's equation. So that also we will concentrate in the example. So thank you very much for your attention. We will continue in the next lecture how to solve at least the Burger equation with the analytical method. Thank you.